What's going on guys? Thank you for returning back to the channel. My name is Miguel. I go by GBay Resales here on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys another way to source for items to resell. Typically, I end up sourcing from thrift stores, garage sales, yard sales, and estate sales. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys could be searching your local marketplace to find great deals on items where people are gonna be letting them go for cheap. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys an item that I just recently sold for over $325, but I ended up finding another one here on the app that's called OfferUp. A lot of you guys may have heard of the app. In this video, I ended up finding another Bose home theater system. The model is Cinemate 15, and it's a home theater surround sound. This lady is selling this item. She originally had it listed for $200, and uh, she only had one picture on there. I don't think she was getting a lot of luck because she had a pretty bad picture on there. So what I ended up doing is I ended up asking her for uh, more detailed pictures to include the picture in the back that actually has the label. So a couple hours ago, she asked me if I was still interested. I told her I did uh, send her a message requesting the additional pictures, but she never responded. And she said that she never got my message. So finally, I sent her my number. She sent me the pictures and it is the exact same model that I ended up selling for 325. Once again, she was asking 200. We were able to negotiate it down to 150. That's what I asked her and she willingly took the offer. I just wanted to make sure that the system came with a remote and she confirmed it. It's just missing the back piece. That should not be an issue. So we're going to be heading out to go pick it up. Once again, for 150, this unit goes for over $300. The last one I sold a couple, couple days ago, actually, was for 325. So look out on offer up on Facebook Marketplace for items that are priced lower than their value. This is going to be a very easy tip, especially if you're already listing your items on those platforms you can usually see what has been listed recently. If you happen to uh, find something that is priced low, snatch it up, negotiate. Typically on these uh, apps or these websites, people are willing to negotiate. You know, these are not set prices. If they are set on their price, they're gonna put firm price and then, you know, you can go from there. Guys, do you guys think I'm lowballing her? Asking 150 when the item is worth about 325? Go ahead and leave your comments down below. I would like to know what you guys think about that. I know a lot of people get mad when you ask for discounts like a yard sales, estate sales and whatnot, especially when the items may be um, priced a little bit lower than what the actual value of it is. But in this situation, I would like to know what you guys think. All right, guys, so here's the predicament. The lady ended up sending me an address, assuming, I'm, I'm assuming it was actually gonna be a house I typically like to test these electronics before I take them or before I pay for them because there might be a chance it doesn't power up. So come to find out the address is actually for her local super Walmart. I understand she's a lady. She's probably trying to be safe and whatnot, but, but this is a pretty pricey item. You know, I'll, I'll be spending 150 bucks um, and I'm just hoping that it works. For the future, in case situations like this happens, I'm gonna have to try to buy one of those units where you can actually plug it to your, you know, the power, where you get the power from there. But then you can actually connect electronics, you know, or, you know, the regular plug in there, or you're using that port to get power. So I think I'm gonna have to get one of those for sure because I really don't wanna be taking chances like this too many times. So let's see and let's hope that it does work. Currently, I'm just waiting. I guess she didn't. She wanted to make sure I was here first before she decided to come here. I, I, I really don't understand that part. If we set a time that we're gonna meet at a certain time, we should both be here at that same time. You know, that's just one of my pet peeves. I'm not gonna tell somebody to come at a time where I'm not gonna be there. Let me know if that's happened to you guys in the past where they tell you to meet them at a certain location at a certain time and then you get there, but they're not there. They decide to come after you arrive. How are you doing? Good, are you? Doing okay. Yeah. Appreciate Thanks. it. Have a good one. You guys didn't see it, but let me show you. I just felt kind of awkward. I don't like recording when I'm doing the deal. But here it goes. This one is actually um, a little tougher. 
condition than the other one I bought. But it's all in all it's in good condition. And you see the Cinemate 15. Hopefully it focuses in great. Came with a remote, it's just missing the back piece. And here's the speaker. You can't beat it for 150. It seems like she was in need of money. Um, but you know, sometimes life happens and it just doesn't make sense to keep fancy equipment. You're better off just selling it. Now, with that being said, right? Sometimes we do have to sell items depending on our financial situation, but in this case, guys, I was not aware that she was actually going through financial troubles, but I set the price at 150. She was asking 200, but um, let me know. Should I feel bad or not? But you know, buying and selling, buying and reselling is all about making money, right? In this situation, I was able to find a great deal. Like I said, the condition of this item is not the best, but it's still really good. And once again, it's bows, bow sells regardless. There's some couple scuff marks there. Oh, I should be able to take it or remove it away with the uh, magic marker and uh, clean it up very well. But with that being said, I should be able to sell it for over $300, hopefully pretty soon as well. I don't know, I might reach out to the same guy and see if he's interested in another one. Just because he said that he typically wants a sound system pretty much in every room. So, I'll give him a holler, see if he wants another one. I'll be posting it on Facebook Marketplace. I'll repost it back on OfferUp. That's where I got it. But once again, she put pretty bad pictures, so she wasn't getting any hits. Pictures in the description make a big difference. She actually didn't even put the Cinemate 15. I think she would have got a lot of traffic on that listing if she would have put more details. And sometimes you have to find or dig into those bad listings just to get more information on potential great items that you could end up making money on. I currently have a video. I'm trying to, I, I believe I'll be dropping this within the week. I have a polo haul video for retail arbitrage with uh, polo designer clothing if you want to call it designer but I do have a free giveaway I believe I have a 250 subscriber uh, giveaway if that video reaches over 250 I'll be doing a giveaway based off of that video so make sure you guys go into my channel into the playlist and uh, look for that video it's a polo uh, shopping spree video uh, alright guys so let's go ahead and test the item I currently have it set up with the same uh, CD player that I tested the other unit so check this out so I got a five disc CD player, Sony, connected that to the back with some RCA cables, so that to this. Once again, the controller has the back plate missing or the cover missing, but that's not a big deal. It doesn't affect it and the batteries actually don't fall out. So they're in there secured pretty well. Now the unit did turn on, which I'm really happy. All we have to do now is hit play same song right and the sub sounds really good Ooh, it sounds clean so guys the only thing right that I'm gonna have to work on this unit is actually all these scuffs this one's in a little bit worse shape than the other one that I had bought the other one that I had purchased this one needs a little bit more cleaning this one has some scuffs needs some cleaning there too and also on the sides Here's another beat I did a couple years ago. Well, over 10 years ago. All right guys, so there you guys have it. The system worked. Once again, I got it for 150. I'm gonna try to sell it for over $300 after I clean it up, take good pictures of it, and uh, post it on Facebook Marketplace. I'll be reposting it back on OfferUp where I picked it up from. 
Go ahead and leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think about this pickup. But once again, source from your local marketplaces, either Craigslist, OfferUp, LetGo, which they now merged, and uh, Facebook Marketplace. You could also source from Mercari, but Mercari, take in mind, that's already a reseller's platform, primarily. So you'll probably not find great deals like this. So local marketplace where you actually go ahead and pick it up, that's where you're going to find some great deals. But you just have to be looking deep into those uh, listings. All right. Thank you once again for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you like reselling content or making extra money, this is a perfect way to start learning. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button, guys. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.